Okay, let's talk about the sympathetic nervous system. So, the autonomic nervous system is composed of sympathetic and parasympathetic. Overall, within the sympathetic nervous system, we have 22 to 23 ganglia. These can be divided into a cervical region, thoracic region, sacral region, lumbar region, and the sacral region. Now, in terms of the cervical region, we have three ganglia. We have superior cervical, middle cervical, inferior cervical. And in terms of what they give off and where they're located, the superior cervical ganglion, so this is the superior cervical ganglion, this is your middle cervical ganglion. This is your inferior cervical ganglion. The superior cervical ganglion is located between bodies of C2 and C3. Here. Now, if that's the way C2 and C3 are located, the way of the middle cervical is located between TC and TS. How so? So the way that our professor described it is that it's the middle cervical ganglion is located where the thyrocervical trunk, branch of subclavius, subclavian artery, crosses with truncus sympathicus and this is sympathetic trunk so superior cervical ganglion between c2 and c3 middle cervical ganglion between tc and ts so thyrocervical trunk and th truncus sympathicus and the inferior cervical ganglion is in front of the body of the seventh cervical vertebrae because you go C4, C5, C6 here. So in front of body of C7. Okay, next. So in terms of which nerves come from each of these ganglia, let's say that each of these give different nerves. These go to largely the head and neck and a couple of other places, the heart as well and the abdomen. And by the way, these are the ganglia and these branches which connect the different ganglia, these are called interganglionic branches. Okay, so in terms of what comes off of the superior cervical ganglion, the superior cervical ganglion gives, off us, gives us five different nerves. The first nerve is the jugular nerve. And this actually has two branches which go in the direction of vagus and glossopharyngeal. The next nerve that we get is the internal carotid nerve. And this column is actually for where it's found, in what region, what does it form, all of that stuff. So the internal carotid nerve actually forms the internal carotid plexus in the region of the internal carotid artery. Plexus. In Rigio, caro caroticus internus, internal carotid artery, arteria, internal carotid artery. You guessed it, the next nerve, by the way, remember the mnemonic Giles, Giles, J I E L S. The next one is external carotid nerve, and this forms external carotid plexus in region of 
or along the external carotid artery. And these two combine to form the carotid plexus or common, sorry, common, common carotid plexus. Next, you have your laryngeo pharyngeal branches. Laryngeal pharyngeal branches forming the pharyngeal plexus in the region of the well adjacent to the pharynx you have to remember these are just completely related all of the words are the same you just have to add either a plexus internal carotid plexus internal carotid nerve internal carotid plexus external carotid nerve external carotid plexus internal carotid artery, external carotid artery, laryngeal branches, pharynx and then you also have the superior cervical this is a bit different, superior cervical cardiac nerve the middle cervical ganglion gives us the middle cervical cardiac nerve and the inferior cervical ganglion gives us the inferior cervical cardiac nerve and together these give us here our cardiac plexus and the cardiac plexus has a superficial, has two parts. It has one, a superficial part, and two, a deep part. The superficial part is in front of the pulmonary trunk and the arch of the aorta. And the deep part is adjacent to the super, superior vena cava. So how are we going to remember this? Well, if it's superficial, it's going to be... Arch of aorta, yeah. Arch of aorta is the most superficial, most thick bundle of the heart. Remember, because it's a cardiac plexus and it's superficial to the basically think superficial cardiac, superficial to the heart. What's the thickest bundle you're gonna find? You're gonna find the aorta. And then just remember PT, PT, aorta, PT, pulmonary tongue, and deep is gonna be what is it gonna be? It's gonna be your superior vena. So remember, aorta because it's the thickest bundle, PT, and then deep, you're going to write superior vena cava. I think that should be it. Yeah.